Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. In this tutorial, we'll learn how to cut through a watermelon using sword in Blender. First, go to the Mixama website and log in to your account. Click the Characters tab and choose the Ninja character. Go to the Animations tab, search for Grid Sword Casting and apply it to the character. Download the animation with skin in FBX format. If you like, you can watch my tutorial on how to use Mixama animations in Blender. Now, let's download the sword. Go to the polyheaven.com and download the sword in FBX format. I'll share the download link in the video description. Extract the zip file. Alright. Let's open a new Blender file. Go to the File menu and import the animated character into Blender in FBX format. Go to the Viewport Shaded menu and enable the Cavity option to display the model better in the viewport. When you click the Play button, you'll see animation. You can see the keyframes belong to the animation in the Timeline Editor. Let's trim the keyframes to make the animation shorter. Select the keyframes before frame 30 and delete them. Select the other keyframes, hit the G key and drag them to the first frame. There is some distortion on the left shoulder, but it's okay because this is not our main topic in the video. Let's import the sword in the same way. Hit the S key to scale up slightly. Rotate 90 degrees on the Z axis. G key to move, R key to rotate and place it into the character's hands properly. Alright, let's bind the sword to the character's hands. Select the armature and go to the armature properties tab. Open up the viewport display panel and enable the in front option. So you can see through the bones. Switch to the pose mode and select the right hand bone. Switch back to object mode. Select the sword, hold down shift and select the armature. The armature should be an active selection with a yellow outline. Press Ctrl P and set the hand bone parent to the sword. When you play the animation, you'll see the sword moves with the hand bone. Press Numpad 7 to switch to the top view. Then rotate the character to align the sword with the Y axis. Go to the Outliner Editor and hide the armature in the viewport. Alright, let's make a simple watermelon to cut through. Add a plane, S key to scale and move it on the Y axis. Add a cube object. Scale down and move it on the Y axis. Press Ctrl A and apply Scale Transform. Go to the Modifiers tab and add a Subdivision Surface modifier. Set the Subdivision level to 3 and apply the modifier. Bring the watermelon above the plane. Press Tab key to switch to Edit mode. Select the Side Vertex and enable the X Symmetry option. Turn on the Proportional Editing tool and switch to the front view. Hit the G key, scroll up the mouse wheel 
to adjust the influence circle size and bring the vertex outside. Turn off the proportional editing tool and X symmetry options. All right, switch to object mode, press Shift D and duplicate the watermelon. Rename it Slices in the Outliner Editor. Rename the other one Watermelon. Right click and Shade Smooth. Click the eye icon to hide it in the viewport. Unhide the armature. Select the armature and move it on the X axis so that the center line aligns with the sword. Go to the Outliner Editor and hide the armature in the viewport. Now, select the slices and make smooth. Switch back to edit mode. Hold Alt and select this loop cut. Go to the vertex menu and rip vertices. Now, if I press L, I can select one half of the watermelon separately. Press H key to hide the selected parts in the viewport. Hold Alt and select the loop cut. Press F key and create a new face from the vertices. To fix the shading problem, press Alt N and split custom normals. Press Alt H to unhide the other slice. In the same way, hide the other one and make the same process. Now, let's separate them as different objects. Hit the A key to select all, press P key and separate by loose parts. Now, when you switch back to object mode, you can select each part independently. Alright, I want to add rigid body simulation to animate the watermelon movements. Select any part of it, go to the Physic Properties tab, and add a rigid body. If I play the simulation, you'll see the objects fall straight down. Select the plane and add a rigid body. Switch the rigid body type to passive. So, when you play the simulation, you'll see the plane stays in place and the watermelon collides with it. However, it's not falling correctly. This is because the object's origin isn't aligned with the center of mass. To fix this, right-click and set origin to the center of mass. If I play the simulation again, you'll see it behaves correctly now. Another problem is, rigid body simulation starts without sword cutting through the watermelon. If I enable the animated option, the object will stay in place. I want the simulation to start when the sword slices the watermelon. Press the arrow keys to determine the frame where the sword slices the watermelon. It's frame 42. Go to the animated option and click the level dot to add a keyframe. Then disable the animated option, go to the next frame with the arrow key and add another keyframe. Let's play the simulation. That's it. Alright, select the other slice and set origin to center of mass. Hold shift and select the other slice. Go to the object menu, rigid body and copy from active. Go to the object menu again, link transfer data and link animation data from the active selection. Let's play the simulation. That's it. Another problem is that there is a slice mark on the model. Let's go to the Outliner Editor and unhide the watermelon. I'll animate the visibility of this in the viewport. Select the watermelon and go to the Object Properties tab. Open up the visibility panel. 
You can hide and unhide the object here and animate this property. Go to the frame 42. Click the little dot next to it and add a keyframe. Go to the next frame, disable the viewport and add another keyframe. Let's play the simulation. That's it. You can also animate the render option to control what appears in the final render. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next tutorials.